Let's uh let's see how he likes a rocket launcher. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. <laughs> Freaking overkill. <laughs> Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to Gaming Spotlight. This is episode 45, and oh my freaking god, XCOM Enemy Unknown Demo. Oh, like, guys, anyone who knows anything about me knows how much I've been waiting for this game. I can't freaking wait. I'm psyched. Uh, the, the original XCOM, uh, XCOM UFO Defense on PlayStation 1 was single-handedly responsible for getting me into PC gaming. Uh, if it wasn't for that game... I might never have got into PC gaming. Maybe I would have got into it later, but it would have been definitely a lot more different. So, God, I can't wait. Let's just play right now. God, so great. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Oh, epic. Oh, it's a quote. Arthur C. Clarke. Cool. Uh-oh. Shit is getting real. I'm gonna try and talk through some of the cutscenes because uh, I don't wanna get hit with copyright stuff if I just show the cutscenes silently. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. I don't think he made it. Call me crazy, but I think that guy's dead. An extraterrestrial incursion. This Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Okay, so I guess you get basically get the gist. Uh, UFOs are landing around the planet. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo Three One. Right, I guess you guys get the idea. Um, loading, loading. We're being deployed to Germany at 1900 hours Zulu. Several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council. And they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. All right, so it's a basic idea. We're we're XCOM. We're like a, uh, an organization uh, that basically just flies around the world and kicks the crap out of aliens, and uh, you know saves humanity, stuff like that. We need to do a mission in Hamburg, Germany. So let's go. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. 
Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. I have the feeling the demo is only going to be one skirmish, which is oh god. Central. You getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first. Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Oh, this is like Delta a tutorial. One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Yeah, this is a tutorial. Alright, fair enough. Use the mouse to select highlighted position and right click to move the soldier. Okay. A soldier can move up to two times per turn. The number of remaining moves is indicated in the soldier's unit flag. Okay. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Okay. I can use the arrow keys to strafe around. So let's go right there. Delta two, your turn. Move up to the debris. That's and then probably over here. Much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover. Oh, here. Ahead, there we go. Position. Delta 3. Move to that vehicle dead ahead. Central. I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Oh, this Proceed is spooky. Vehicle for a better vantage point. Delta 4. Go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there, so you better double time it. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta 4? Report. What the fuck? Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. <laughs> Is that your man, Delta 4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. The hell is that? Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. A soldier may cover long distances by dashing. This will consume both moves and end the soldier's turn. Okay, so how do I dash? Oh, okay, so this, if I stay in this area, I keep my, my, that only uses up the first turn. If I go over here, I can go anywhere in this yellow area, and that's dashing, it uses up all my turns. Okay. Go there. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Oh, I can go inside, okay. Central, I think I just found another one of the Ew. on team. Or what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Okay. Wait. This guy wants me to go there, right? Dash! Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is. But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Oh, dash. Okay. 
Okay, people. Now let's get inside. When they dash, or anytime they move like that, let's take a look. It's pretty intense because you you're not sure if someone's gonna jump out or nothing. It feels like someone will. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Okay, how does he want me to get in there? Let me just oh, I guess just break through the window. Cool. Delta two. That door's in our way. Take it down. Solid copy. I guess if I just move to here, he'll automatically go through the door, just like the other guy went through the window. Alright, so move her up to here. Or him, I should say. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta 3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Okay. Now, you might you might be thinking... Oh, hold on. She's talking to him. He appears to be in shock. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, what, is this the whole game? No, this is not the whole game. This is like the strategic combat part, and this is about half the game. The other part is building bases, strategically researching stuff, um, you know. So, and I don't think I'm going to get to do that part. Uh, so, let's just get through this. Alright, it looks like she's going to jump through the window. She could have just easily went through the door, but whatever. I, I'm definitely going to do a Let's Play on this game, and I'll bet you it's going to be a bunch of fail. Like, I'll bet you I get killed a lot, and it's just going to be funny, but... Delta 3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Um, okay. I don't like where this is going. Oh shit. He's controlling him. He's using mind control on him. Those guys are... These aliens are like your beginning aliens. At least in XCOM Bio for defense. And they can mind control you. He's down! Delta-1 is down! Central! Protecting fire for multiple X-rays! This guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire! Damn it. Delta 2, your flank 2. Find some better cover. Want me to go there? Yeah, because this guy's over here. So we're going to get there to, to flank this guy. And I should be able to shoot him on this turn as well. Alright, Delta 2. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Press spacebar to activate the tactical combat UI, or right-click on the action you wish to perform. Oh, cool. Select fire using... Huh? Wait. Fire, okay. Or A and D, then press space to fire. Ooh, headshot! Nice shot. Delta 4, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Alright, it seems like this is a very um defensive game, get cover, and like which makes sense, so that's good. I guess when you see, see the little grenade at the enemy in front of you. Alright. Actually you wish. Oh, I could just click down here. I kinda like the way it looks like this though. Um frag grenade. Move the target man and press. Okay. Oh, wait. Frag grenade. There we go. Did 
Oh, that guy just got blown the fuck up. Look out, Delta Four. There's another one coming in behind you. Look at those arm guns. Those things are awesome. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. So I guess where there's a shield, that means you're in cover. And right here I have a half shield, so that means half cover. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Fire. Mm. Oh, okay. Here's how much ammo it will use. I guess this, uh... This filled in spot shows how much ammo I have in my gun, and this will take this much ammo. I also have a pistol. I'm look. Alright, so one. There we go. Central, I think that's it. It's over. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Okay, good. I get. I actually do get to do the other part. All right. Um, I usually like to make my base kind of like in the middle of America. I'm gonna do it like over here in the rock in like the the um mountain somewhere. Uh, content bonus, air and space. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, build, and maintain. Um, I'm guessing I can't build in Asia. Could build in Europe. Laboratories and workers cost 50% less. Laboratories and workers cost 50% less to build and maintain. Actually, let's build somewhere. Can we zoom in? Let's see where, where we can zoom in. Oh, you don't get to choose where your base goes. You just get to choose w what continent. Okay. Affirmative. We are coming home. Fair enough. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. <laughs> the only guy that lived. Yeah, this is the setup for the base. This is how you like... Commander to the barracks. Commander to the barracks. This is how you look at your base. Uh, we got the barracks. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna let me look at anything else. Barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. View soldiers. Okay. Whatever that- you can name your soldiers, I believe, uh, eventually. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Oh, look, hit points plus one. Will aim defense the promotion icon next to the abilities lets you know that they are eligible for promotion select abilities to promote uh, abilities. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. New training, training fire rocket confirmed. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the research labs. Commander All right. To the research so that basically labs. gives you an idea of the barracks and how to deal with your soldiers. And let's go to the research labs. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. 
This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Yeah, see, so you, you basically uh, grab the alien technology. You can also use their corpses and research them. Uh, select weapon fragments or alien materials to begin research. Let's go with weapon fragments. Uh, it'll take eight days. Project cost five weapon fragments. I guess you lose weapon fragments. Or maybe you need five weapon fragments to, to research it. These fragments, these fragments are all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our weapons development programs. Begin project. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. Commander to it mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Commander to mission control. Commander All right. to mission control. Mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. All right, we got an alien abduction reported. Uh, view the site, United States. Panic is low. Oh, this is so good. It shows the panic level. Like, you guys don't know what it's like for XCOM UFO defense. I mean, it didn't have any of this. Anyway, uh, mission's easy. Reward for scientists. I could go to Kansas know, City, United it. States. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Confirm. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Okay. Must increase squad size through the officer training school. Okay, it looks like they it looks like they put this to uh together for me. So I'm gonna have to play through this again, I think. Because the sounds are weird. I don't know if the sounds are going to come out good on this. By the way, in case this video does goes up, I'm talking to Autumn. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Begin assault. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright, let's go. Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Tab to change your current soldier. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's closer, that makes sense. Good. Now open the door. Quietly, so you don't reveal... Press V or right-click to open the door. Okay. Now take cover inside. Get inside there. All right. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Select the heavy. Select the heavy using tab. Uh, I wonder how I could tell. Is there any easy way to tell who's heavy? I don't think so. Um, I know who he is, but I don't think there's. I mean, I could look over here and, and see the guns they have. You can change elevations by pressing F or C. Move the soldier to the roof of that building. F and C. Oh. How's he going to get up there? Uh, I don't know, but let's see. Is he going to climb up the... Oh, he's going to climb up the pipe. Okay. Cool. Go on. Oh, there's, they're 
getting cover. This looks like a sniper. It's not telling me where to go. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I kind of want the sniper on the roof as well. But let me see. Shield. Shield. Actually, he might be able to hit him from here. Fifty-five. Fifty-five percent chance to hit. Does up to five damage. All right, let's do it. Oh! Oh hell yeah, that was sweet. All right, this guy looks like he's just a basic grunt type. So honestly, I kind of want to get them all up on the roof. Um. Get him on the roof. I'll cover him. Oh, there they go. Alien activity. He's got no shot. Oh, damn, he broke the, the stuff that was covering him. Alright. Let's, uh, let's see how he likes the rocket launcher. Oh, this is going to be sweet. <laughs> Freaking overkill. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Um, should probably check over here. Actually, I'll leave him right there for now. Alright. Can they duck? Is there a duck option? I don't see one. Soldier, soldier info. Overwatch. I don't know what Overwatch means. Actually, there's no. There's not much reason not to have anyone up. Everyone up there. Okay, we still have movement, I think. Um, oh, since he fired, he used everything. All right, is there? How do I do next turn? Um, end of turn. All right, I'm not spotting anything. I'm not. I'm kind of like chicken shit to move my guys out. Um. Let's move this guy over here. Just to now, if there was an alien over here, well, let's try. I don't think I can go over here. Oh yeah, there's some room over there. Oh, let's send it. Oh, he's a sniper. I'm gonna just keep him up here. Put him in the corner of the roof. See what he can see. You stay there. I want you to go down. Is there a map? Let's see, I don't know if there's a map. Info. Like, there's not an overall map. Like, I can't tell where the map really ends. Although I kind of have an idea. Yeah, let's move the guy on the floor. Open the door, bro. Oh, this guy can go all the way over here. I 
Right, let's get a little bit more uh, aggressive here. Cause... Aliens are campers. Oh man, that guy kicked that door down like a pro. <coughs> Alright, end the turn. Backspace, right? Alright, let's grab the guys in back first. Where is he? There he is. Can I just click on him? Yes, I can. Keep him up there. This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Spotted some aliens. the hell is that thing? Can I not fire a rocket? Come on. Hmm, confused on what's, how this works. Fire the rocket, let's go. It says 90%. How come I can't shoot it? Oh, unavailable maximum uses per mission reached. Ugh, god darn it. Alright. Shoot then. Can he shoot? Damn. Uh-oh. This don't look good. That guy's pissed. It's alright, that's why I got the sniper up here. He's down. Got him. Now what do you mean they move around this side? Well, let's end the turn and see if there's any more. Oh, there's definitely more. They don't seem to move though. It's kind of weird. Alright. Gotta get the sniper closer. You can stay there. Right, where can you move up to? There we go. Stay there for now. Let's see if we can get this dude on one of these roof things. Nope. I guess there's no way to get on top of them. Alright, you stay there then. You stay there. I want you to go there. And you stay there for now. What I want to do is I want to hold this area, and at the same time, like, check this area out. This is a pretty nasty choke point, so... There could even be aliens in here. Okay. So now we'll grab this guy. And move up to here. And this guy should be able to look in there and get a shot off if need be. Nothing in here. 
So take cover. Mm. You can stay where you are. Really, there's no way to get on top of these things, huh? Alright. I'm gonna peek out around the corner here. Nothing. Alright, move the sniper up. Alright, back space. Uh, okay. View over here. And then I want to move you right there. And then let's peek out and see what we got here. Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, uh, I guess they're in this building. Screw it. Let me get a little bit more ballsy now. I think I've been a little bit too... Uh, worrying about getting killed. Move it! Oh, it automatically ended my turn. Yeah, they're all in that building. Alright, so you get up here. I've decided no matter how this sound works out in this video, I'm still putting it up. This is a longer demo than I thought. Alright, um... I'm gonna send... Nah, I'll just send everyone in. Screw it. This is a lot like, a lot like uh, the first XCOM, sweet. I don't know how much good of a let's play it's gonna make, but I'm gonna do one anyway, I don't give a shit. Enemy spotted. What the hell? Unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Oh, I already used up my turn. That's fine. I don't like the way they jumped out the window, though. Oh, shit. They just blew away the freaking wall. That's not good. Alright, uh, get in there. Oh, did you see the way he cocked this gun? That was awesome. Can I still move him? Nope. Damn it, he's in the way now. That was... Okay, live and learn. Now I know. Can you even shoot at the guy? No targets. Uh-oh. See, what happens is if they don't use their abilities, like if they keep... If they save up uh, action points or whatever, then they can shoot while I'm on the run... While I'm on the move. Oh, there's other doors over here. I didn't even notice that.
Wait. It said he kicked open the door, but he didn't. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I might lose a guy here. Oh, look at him taking some fire. Alright, so you move out of the way. And then shoot at him. Get some revenge. Damn. That guy was badass. Mission complete. Operation Cold Heat. Alien, ab alien abductions, Kansas City, United States, 9.19 p.m. Aliens killed 6. Rating excellent. XCOM operators lost 0. Rating excellent. Continue. And now we're flying. This game is phenomenal. This is even better than I thought it was going to be. Alright, one of my guys got wounded. Uh, the other guys um, got shows their kills. Yeah, okay. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, right. Commander. I got two sectoid corpses and five weapon fragments. A new facility available, laboratory. Each laboratory increases research speed by 20%. Adjacent bonus, plus 10%. Increase to research speed for adjacent laboratory. So you want to build next to each other. Use the build facilities option in the engineering to construct this facility. The XCOM squad deployed to United States has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Kansas City. United States is deeply grateful for your help and hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. They gave me they gave me four scientists, but panic has increased across Asia because I didn't help Asia. Alright. Mission control. Commander, there's been a new development. You've definitely got something on the ground. Alpha Squad is on approach. Can you confirm a visual on the crash site? Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, what a way to end a demo. Perfect. XCOM, Enemy Unknown, Our Last Hope. Available October 9th, North America, and October 12th for the rest of the world. God, okay. So, I don't know if I was quite clear on a couple things on this video. Number one, I hope the audio was good. Um, I'm going to mess around with the audio options. I will be doing a Let's Play on this, and I'm going to get the audio options, because the cutscenes are really loud, and then and then everything else in the regular game is soft. So i got to see if I can work with that. That might be a problem. Uh, buy game, I already bought it. So yeah, XCOM is... Uh, is It has a turn-based strategy aspect. It has a base-building aspect. It has... You know, uh, res you got to manage research, you got to manage production, you got to manage your base. It has a lot of strategy aspects to it. And uh, I got to tell you, I can't freaking wait for it to come out. So, anyway, uh, that's going to be it for Gaming Spotlight Episode 45. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for Episode 46. Till then, take it easy.